Um, yeah, what a title. Shop Sanity Full Item Randomizer. Um, I'll be explaining what that entails um, when, we, when we start. I'll probably just get started on this run right away before explaining any further. Off, off, no, yep. Yeah. So this is a custom, it's a mod for Pokemon Crystal that um, has a bunch of extra options that make the game a little nicer. Yeah, while you're uh, getting everything set, if you've never seen a full item randomizer before, um, imagine if every time there's a Pokeball in the overworld, it could be a gym badge, it could be, you know, a gem, it could be literally anything. Every item in the overworld, plus even some items that you're not normally supposed to be able to just pick up, have been randomized and shuffled mm -hmm. um, with some logic considered to make sure that the game is complete, fully completable. Yeah, I'll, I'll just mention it again. And I'll, I'll mention everything that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to start in three, two, one, go. So yeah, full item randomizer, shop sanity. Uh, the Pokemon moves items, key items, HMs, badges, TMs, hidden items, berry trees, items that are given to you, and the shop inventories are all randomly shuffled into one giant item pool. So anything I just mentioned can be anywhere. Start with the bike as a little quality of life change and a repel so we can repel through route one. Usually we would get the Poke Gear here, but this time it's a max repel. Mm. I saw you started with the repel as well. That's also just to make the beginning not so bad because um, we're gonna have to cross Route 20, 29, and uh, you, you know, at that point can't <laughs> if you don't have a Pokeball, you can't catch anything. So yeah, a little bit obnoxious to get encounters that early. The goal of this run is to beat Red in Mount Silver, and in order to to get there, okay. Uh, hopefully. Uh. All right. <laughs> uh, We'll go with Tangela. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why, why not? I feel like the Mare will be easy to deal with later. So the thing Chrism has to uh, consider here when he's making a selection, uh, whatever Pokeball is to the right of his Pokeball uh, is what the rival's going to get. So the rival's actually going to get the trash can. Um, <laughs> and it's pretty easy to take care of. Yeah. Um, in order to get to red, we have to find all 16 badges and a couple key items that are necessary as well, like all the Pokegear um, power-ups. Was it TM? 26, yeah. Okay, I'm repelling because I don't have any Pokeballs yet. And... Uh, Tangle's not the fastest Mon either, so... Yeah. May have trouble running from things if they're fast. I'll see the basement key right here. That's, That's gonna be, very good. So that unlocks a bunch of uh, extra items later in Goldenrod. Yeah, so uh, we hope we don't have to use that, because ideally we'd, we'd just skip the basement entirely. Um, but, you know, it's better than, you know, us having to do it and having to go on a wild goose chase just to find the key. All right, random my shop inventories. Let's see what we got. Oh, there's HMO6. Headbutt and Whirlpool. Okay, Whirlpool is going to allow us to go to uh, Whirl help. Islands and a couple other spots as well. Uh, nothing that's immediately going to help us that much. I did not buy any Pokeballs, so I'm going to have to keep repelling here. Yeah, that's fine. I uh, hope we find the Mystery Egg uh, very soon. By the way, this is um, not a scouted seed in any way. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I, not scouted at all, no, <laughs> surely. No, the Mystery Egg is pretty much guaranteed early. Um... <laughs> I, yeah, I just did, I didn't have anyone check over it. I just wanted full RNG, and if it goes well, it goes well, and if not, then not. Yeah, I mean, he's never checked out the seed, but there's some there's some things you can expect, because, uh, you know, the community does kind of put in rules that there's, are in place just yeah. to make it more, like, you know, more tolerable. Um, like, Fly won't be in a location where you have to just walk <laughs> for, for a tremendous amount of time. Don't mind that visual glitch. It's, it's, it's fine. <laughs> All right, we got five guard specs from the assistant. That's unfortunate. They don't really sell for much. Uh, that could help with red, I guess. Yeah, well, I don't. I need one only. Yeah. You still right, have any Pokeballs, do you? Oh, I do max repelled. Oh boy. Uh, oh, actually, I have. I have. I bought a headbutt TM as well, so we can get a level ten encounter. Right. Um, uh, I'm. Tangela is probably good enough to beat the first trainer, and then we'll see what we get. Maybe we'll find the. The squirt bottle early and everything's gonna be weird. Yeah, so headbutt, you're normally supposed to get it after um, Azalea Town. Uh, so everything that falls out of, out of a tree is level 10. <laughs> okay, I swear it's not scripted. Okay, so that <laughs> that has opened up the game tremendously. Uh, so I'll start with the headbutt though. Uh, headbutt produces level 10 encounters, which at that point in the game when you normally get headbutt is not that great. But now when we only have our level 5 starter and level 2 to 4 things in the grass, that is a significant advantage. Uh, but Squirt Bottle, um, if you're familiar it's with huge. Pokemon Crystal, uh, to the west of Violet City, uh, there's a Pseudo Widow tree. And if you use yeah. a Squirt ball, Bottle on it, it will disappear and it opens up the way to Ecruteak and Goldenrod. Everywhere. Almost everywhere. So, Chrism actually doesn't have to beat Faulkner to leave Violet City. I don't, yeah. And Squirt Bottle runs are just, they're not necessarily better 
than not starting with Squirt Bottle early, but they were more interesting. So for a Marathon, I'm actually glad we found Squirt Bottle early. Yeah, it makes it a lot less linear. So, like, there's so many options now. All right. I hope the Tangle is good. Oh, you never even looked at the moveset, did you? No, I never checked it. <laughs> well, it's, uh, zap I'll just cannon? hit Zap Cannon, right? You'll just you'll just hit Zap Cannon. There you go. Yeah, you've also made another couple of other uh, quality of life improvements, like uh, instant, oh God. <laughs> instant HP <laughs> I bars. Fine. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to go again. <laughs> it has Aurora Beam. Oh, I need to crunch that. That uh, Yanma. I'm gonna crunch the uh, Psyduck and then Zap Cannon the the Yanma, hopefully. Yeah. Um, yeah, as you can see, you know, um, yeah, community's put in a lot of work to make this super accessible. Or this. Uh, we, we didn't really mention it, but the text is actually hold to mash as well. Um, so you don't have to sit there and mash through all the go. text. All us go. Yeah, it's really nice. Very convenient. Just holding. You don't have to mm -hmm. injure yourself playing Pokemon by mashing constantly. And you don't have to, like, set turbo and, like, risk pressing A on something you don't want to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, definitely got to make sure you say no to mom here for saving money. Otherwise, you will never be able to unchange it unless you find the Pokegear because <laughs> you cannot call her back. You don't have a phone. I don't know how she calls us, but... Yeah, the only way would be if you ran all the way home and talked to her. Okay, I'm doing this a little uh, out of logic in the dark. Yeah, yeah. logic's going to require HMO yeah. 5 it wasn't, it wasn't anything. Yeah. There's only that one item accessible to us right now. That's nice. pretty good. I'll leave Volcano Our first badge. And just pick up the tree. It's actually a berry. You still never got Pokeballs, right? I don't think so. Okay. But I'm, I'm about to hit up the next mark. Oh, uh, Pokedex. Po Pokedex sucks. So, uh, it ruins our menuing. I have an extra here. an extra thing to menu over now when I open the menu. Okay, I'm going to enter this Pokemon Center just to make it my hometown. And then... Uh, oh, let's actually do Mart first. Yeah, we can check out, buy some Pokeballs and uh, see what the pseudo is. If, the, if this Mart has any Pokeballs. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I forgot that's not a guarantee. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes, oh, they have Ultra does. Balls. Okay. Um, uh, high crit ratio. I'll buy that. I'm very low on Repelled. Okay. I'll get one Ultra Ball. <laughs> Hopefully that's good. Surely that'll be fine. We'll find some. Surely. So uh, one other thing that's been changed with this is uh, um, the Ultra Ball actually doesn't have a better catch rate than the Pokeball in this mod. Uh, yes. They basically equalize the chance of all Pokeballs. I except new, for new, the yeah, new update. Ball. New update, Helicree. Every Pokeball has perfect catch rate now. Oh, okay. So not even yeah. like one in three. Yeah. That's so good. It's, it's okay. just guaranteed catch now. Yeah, before it was like one in three at full health, and you'd have to get it to like half health. Which even. which makes the Master Ball the worst ball in the game, actually, <laughs> because it plays an animation when you throw it. Yeah. Okay, Money. Oh, this is out of logic. Plane badge. Oh, out of logic plane badge. So this room is only in logic when you're able to purchase escape ropes. Uh, escape ropes. Otherwise, you could softlock yourself. Mm. Did you pick up an escape rope off the ground? Yeah, I picked one off the ground. Mm. So, okay. but I mean, you might as well do it while you're here. All right, weak sibling. Plane badge will and enable then... Prism to use strength. Uh, here we go. Make him outside of battle once he gets it. If um, this is good, I'm just turning around and beat the segment regularly. If it's bad, yeah, then we gotta keep, well. keep going. That right. could That's be fine. Very bad. <laughs> right now, just to beat Faulkner, it could be okay. It could beat Faulkner, yeah, yeah. But I'm I might as well just get a main now. Yeah. Absolutely. Make it more interesting. So I'm catching this just so I can repel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Persian at least Persian doesn't do a lot well, but it's very fast. So he won't have any problems running away from anything. Alright, I'll head over to Ecritique. Oops. Yeah, see, Pokedex already messing with me. Yeah. So yeah, obviously, um, you know, in a traditional playthrough of Pokemon Crystal, you'd have to beat Faulkner, go south, uh, go through Union Cave, uh, go through Azalea, do all the stuff there at the Rockets and Bugsy, and then go through Ilex Forest, and then go to Goldenrod, and then come here. But getting the Squirt Bottle, er Squirt Bottle early let us just bypass so much of that. Oh, I didn't change lead, I don't think. This could have been runnable too, so it's not actually... The absolute worst to check this. Mm. Yeah, hidden item up here on the left. Oops. Good it is. Yeah, I'm right. not sure exactly Money. how many checks there are in this game, but it's it's close to 500, I think. And there's, there's quite a bit, especially because um, Prism plays with uh, some extra ones like hidden items, and uh, you see he's been actually picking up the berry trees, <laughs> yeah. and they are their own slots as well. And then the shop also has checks now, so. You basically have everything enabled that could possibly be enabled, I'm pretty sure. Except for maybe, like, uh, bug-catching contest items. I need a water stone. You can mark that. 
water stone. Okay. May reduce defense's metal claw. Now, oh, um, I more repels here. it may seem like it's uh, very strange to have the water stone uh, be so important, but uh, one of the ruins of Alf Chambers actually requires a water stone. So um, having that uh, in logic now will maybe put like I don't know, like some badge like. in the <laughs> like 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 one of those <laughs> in the water stone chamber in the ruins of Alf. Uh, but Chrism will also need Surf to get there, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes, Surf and so, so it's not quite in logic yet. Just something to keep in mind for later. I'm just doing a little excursion over to Mahogany to check the Mart and get the items on the way there. Um, because we're looking for Fly and the Storm Badge so we can actually use Fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not? <laughs> I swear it's not scripted. <laughs> sure, sure. This is too good. Uh, <laughs> Look, this is the Storm Badge. <laughs> The storm, no storm edge can be anywhere still. Yeah. There is some logic behind it. Fly is guaranteed early, which means uh, it can't be through certain requirements. It can't be in Victory Road. It can't be in Kanto, right? In Boeing. It can be in Kanto. Um, it cannot be past Mahogany. It cannot be through Diglett's Cave. It cannot be in Victory Road. Uh, there's a couple of things like that. It, it, it is bef guaranteed available before you are forced to use the boat. Mm-hmm. So that's a weird one. Um, right, like, if you uh, keep all of that in mind, you can narrow it down. Yeah, we, we got the squirt bottles. So luckily, this isn't the case. But there's so many seeds where, like, or at least there were back when I played this a lot, uh, where <laughs> to avoid, because you don't get a squirt bottle, you have to take the boat and then go around Kanto. Like, you basically have to go to Kanto just to get around the tree <laughs> yeah, to, get, yeah, to yeah. get between North and South Johto. It's very, very, very silly. All right, I'm just talking to Bill here to unlock the EV in Golden Run. It's a level 20 Pokemon. Yeah, and if it's a good Pokemon, it's just, it's a no-brainer. We don't have really a good Pokemon to just sweep the game with yet. Toxic, dude, toxic. You have, you have time for some donations now if you want. Do we have any? Well, we do not seem to have any donations currently available at the moment, but I think I could very much take the time to talk about some uh, bids uh, that we have coming up within our schedule. So if you could just give me a brief moment on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, while I'm doing that, though, I do want to say this is very much an honor to be hosting your run, Chris. And uh, thank you for coming with uh, Gen 2, a bit of a childhood nostalgia of mine. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. I can help you with the bid wars. We have a bid war coming up tomorrow. Mario 64. Actually, it's not a bid war. It's a donation incentive. I'm running 30 star. And... You can make it a 70 star run by hitting the donation goal, and I would love to show you 70 star instead of 30 star, so better put your donations towards that. Well said, friends. And remember, if you would like to find that donation incentive, you will want to make sure your donation index will be set to the event for stream one. So be sure to do that. And of course, links can be found to donate below, as well as popping it up through chat command, exclamation point, donate, and we are currently sitting at $70, $72,000, which is really, really good, but I believe we can take that even higher. I personally think it'd be pretty dang radical if we could get that to, well, oh, I don't know, $74,000. So, chat, if you feel that uh, you are absolutely game for that, let's maybe see some donation trains or even some donations stating what your favorite Pokemon is. Yeah, so um, Chris actually got a Pokemon um, from the gates between um, Route 35 and uh, Goldenrod City. It, it's, it's not very high level. It's like level 10, uh, but it is a traded Pokemon. So You it remember grow, its name? Uh, Kenya. Kenya. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it, uh, it grows very, very, very quickly. So although it may be kind of a low level at first, if it's a great Pokemon, I, I, wouldn't, I don't think it's too bad of an idea to maybe see if we can run it. Uh, the problem is we don't have... I think the playing badge gives us a obedience boost, right? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so, like, if you were to run Kenya and use it as your main Pokemon, um, if you don't have certain badges, you may run... Oh, it, it, does get, it does get the boost, but I don't know if I have any obedience issues, yeah, with the, yeah. the badges that I have. Yeah, I think, I think playing badge covers you to 30, if I'm not mistaken. All right. This is going to be a big mart. Ooh, rising badge. I have no money. <laughs> Luckily, the rising badge is free. <laughs> rising badge, high crit ratio, sure. Just buy it. I'm out of money now.
lowest defense. I mean, X specials are here. You can remember that, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, cool. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, early. Oh, I need Rock Smash. I need to buy that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Rock Smash is um, not an HM in this game. It's a TM. Um, but, you know, it, it does create access to um, a lot of checks, especially out of... Uh, what is it? Uh, Dark Cave. Drops rocks. That's rock slide. I can afford it. Let's go. Yeah, a lot of the Pokemon moves um, don't really have the best descriptions. <laughs> so you basically just have to remember what the descriptions are. Cause... Yeah, there's drops rocks and her uh, and throws rocks. And that's two different moves. Mm -hmm. And then has high critical ratio is like five, six, six, moves, six yeah. of them or something. I don't know. So it doesn't really help that much. No big money. All right, I still haven't checked the Kenya and the, the level 20 that I got. Strength hopefully, is so good. Hopefully that is, as we a, have a runnable Pokemon. As a fully functional strength. Let's you do have it now. Slowbro is not runnable. <laughs> that doesn't help. That moveset was insane, though. That is not runnable. Okay. I mean, give it a chance. We have nothing <laughs> runnable still, and I have no way to Kanto. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. This is great. What do I do now? Um, I might do the buck catching contest. Yeah, you don't really have access to much else. Like, I don't know if there's any high-level encounters you can get with strength, or... maybe? No. Yeah, I don't think so either. Like, uh, at this point, if you don't have a main, uh, you could take the magnet train to Kanto and then go to Cycling Road and check the water and the grass there because those are very, very easily accessible high levels. Also, Vermilion Water as well is pretty good, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, we don't have access to that right now, so we're going to check out the bug catching contest. Um, you did grab these items earlier that were here, but um, there's uh, the items are actually different if you click them outside of the bug catching contest. They patched that. They patched that. Okay. Yeah. So they're not the they're not the it's different anymore. Okay. Very good. Oh boy, we need to find anything that's decent. <laughs> Yeah, we're not being too picky, but, you know, it does have to get us all the way to the end and defeat Red. Uh, if you're aware of Red's levels, you know, we're going to need something something quite remarkable. I might I might leave and check somewhere else instead. Mm -hmm. This is a little unfortunate. Oh, this is also not runnable. Okay, we saw so many encounters already. I might just leave. One more. Yeah, there's Hopefully 10 not encounters do. in the bug catching yeah. contest. They're all 10% each, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to leave. Yeah. Uh, Item-wise, we're doing really good, but um, it's a little unfortunate we don't have a main. Oh, oops, kick me out. Um, okay, I'll go back up north then, I guess. Yeah, maybe we could headbutt, we could rock smash for an encounter as well, but that's a huge gamble. Maybe uh, not even if this is good, I might just take it. <laughs> more Persians, all right. You, you said that, but you, you know, this is where that tree came from. <laughs> just walked over there from the grass. Uh, even just up here, like we earlier saw one encounter, it was also a neat arena, I think. Um, if not, I can I can keep going. Not this is not the worst. It, uh, it evolves super late, though. It's like in the 30s, at least. Um, what else can I do? <laughs> okay, okay, yes. we're gonna we're gonna do take a detour. This is a little desperate attempt to find the pass. Maybe I'm going to Olivine. Okay. Yeah, Olivine has the, um, there's a couple of houses that give you uh, checks as well as the lighthouse. There's a couple item balls in there, I'm fairly certain. Um, there's also the hidden item in Moomoo Moo Farms. Please, anything. No. That could work for now, but you don't, no. you don't want something in this game that'll work for now because, you know, you're just going to have to change something else later. Uh, Olive, we, should, we should prioritize the items in Olivine first because mm -hmm. we might find the pass bef before I force catching something here, so. Yeah. Uh, I didn't check if the Persian was any good. Uh, you don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> oh, we can just main Slowbro for this fight. This is fine. Yeah, Slowbro, Slowbro's uh, good. as the name would you know, imply, it's fairly slow. Can't run it. Uh, but it has slow. pretty good special attack, so it'll work for right now. As long as it has a moveset. <laughs> That's not a moveset. <laughs> That's going to take a while. Uh, yeah. So, you know, I want to take another opportunity to really appreciate these instant health bars. Yeah. <laughs> because that might have taken a lot longer. Okay. Oh, this is Megahorn. Megahorn okay. Thunder. <laughs> okay. Uh, Skull Bash? Payday? Oh, Payday is good, too. Yeah, so um, if you've never played Pokemon before, um, there's a 
mechanic in pretty much every Pokemon game called same type attack bonus. Uh, that was really good. Uh, where if you use a move that is the same type of the Pokemon that's using it, you get a 50% bonus. And that's why Chris uh, prioritized Payday over maybe the Thunderbolts or other moves that he had. I have to go heal. <laughs> There's another trainer coming up. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that that, that Marowak was out for blood. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, we're looking for a fairly good Pokemon. I would say there's, like, a short list of, like, 30 things we'd be able to run. Yeah. yeah like, there's a lot of Pokemon that are runnable. Yeah, there's a, it there's a really even, good number. Even the Crocona is totally fine um, if it came at a little higher level. Yeah, if we found that, like, the mid-30s, you know, it just it'll evolve in one level, so. You have Rock Smash, right? I do. And I also want to check the encounters here. Mm -hmm. Mantine enjoyers at the beginning got robbed. The seat has everything but mains. There's no rock smash encounters here, unfortunately. Oh, they patched that out? There's never been. Oh, yeah, in this particular rock, yeah. <laughs> if, if you were to get that <laughs> that uh, crocodile at a higher level, there you go, in Cinevo. One more, one more encounter here, and then we go to Olivine, like I said. Oh, this is good. That could work. And it's, 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 and it's male, too. It's a little so. slow. Oh, yeah, so Chris just mentioned that it's male, and you may be wondering why that matters. Um, the Pokemon's gender is determined in this game by their attack IV, or their DV in this game, because IVs weren't a thing yet. Um, for a 50-50 gender ratio Pokemon, uh, males have an attack IV of 8 to 15, and females have an attack IV to zero, of 0 to 7. So if you were to get a male Ursaring, uh, you know it has at least an 8 IV attack, or 8 DV attack. Um, but if it was female, you know, it's on the lower end of the attack DVs, and you're just not going to be hitting as hard. And it honestly, in some circumstances, is better to just try to reroll for a male. <laughs> so, especially if it's like a 1 and 8 gender ratio, like a fossil. Um, because those are like, you know, 12 to 15 for male and 0 to 11 for, uh, for female. So it's a very, very, you know. Oh, it was rock throw. <laughs> Dropping rocks is rock throw, and throwing rocks is rock slide. Now you know. Thank you for. <laughs> <laughs> now you know. Clearly, the moveset yeah. is is decent. Yeah, and we have the plane badge. Did you mention that? Yeah, I do. So, yeah. yeah, we have plane badge strength, so we can actually fully use strength outside of battle. Um, and uh, you know, I just mentioned same type attack bonus, and strength is one of the strongest normal type moves in the game. Uh, so instead of that being 80 power, it's actually going to be uh, 120 base power. Uh, the only move that is, there's a few moves that are better than strength, um, arguably um, Body Slam and Double Edge, but they both have their drawbacks to them. Uh, body Slam just has a paralysis chance, and paralyzing things is kind of slow, I guess, but I guess with the instant health bar as an instant effect. It's not that bad anymore, that bad yeah. yeah. So we may want Body Slam at some point, but if we don't find any of that, then strength is more than sufficient. Yeah, Earth Ring, absolutely no problem. Yeah, the only drawback to Earth Ring is that it's kind of slow. It is slow, but with stat XP towards the end, it's mm -hmm. it's speed stat isn't going to hold it back too much. Yeah, stat, stat Ooh, XP. Ooh, there we I'm go. I'm glad I came back right away. Sweet. All right, so now we can do some backtracking and, uh, you know, maybe check some areas that we need strength for. Um, you know, That's awesome. Okay. Need... It's going to be a good day. <laughs> yeah, we can maybe go into Dark Cave and check the Rock Smash, encounter, or Rock Smash slots. Or, you know, the checks there. I Yeah, it would be out of logic because we don't have Flash yet. Mm, right. So it's not necessarily a guarantee there's going to be anything uh, progression-wise for us there. Up. Okay, so Staddy XP. Um, if you're familiar with effort values in later games, uh, this is basically Gen 2's answer to effort values. Uh, basically, there's like... Um, every time you defeat a Pokemon, its base stats get added to like a little pool, like a little jar um, for every single stat. And as that number gets bigger and bigger, as the jar gets more and more full, um, the stats grow uh, quite a bit. Um, so at the very end of the game, a level 90 Ursaring that you know we've been we've had since the beginning is going to be way stronger and way just more more usable than one that we caught at level 90, if that were possible. So that's why that's one of the reasons why we can't really just use a Pokemon for now. <laughs> you know, it's much more beneficial just to pick something and go all the way to the end with it. There we go. I hope I didn't forget anything. I don't think so. Um, yeah, we're currently stuck in this side of of Johto. We have access to anything past the Sudowoodo. Um, but <laughs> other than that, <laughs> <laughs> um, we're kind of stuck now. And the next the next unwall. What we call it would actually have to be 
a total of seven badges. So we can go through Ice Path because that's locked behind seven badges. Or what's more likely is Kanto Access because we can't go to Kanto yet. So it's going to be the Pass or the SS Ticket pretty, pretty likely. And without Surf, I would prefer the Pass because there's items uh, locked behind Surf on the, the boat journey. Yeah, so the Elder, uh, the Elder has one check. It's just, uh, what would normally be, um, Flash. Yeah, it's just one item. Yeah. Not really guaranteed to be, uh, something of note. Um, it, there's not really any particular check that's guaranteed. Um, it's just that, like I said at the beginning, there's logic that dictates, you know, if you have this item, these things become available, and if you don't have this item, then there's not going to be this thing available. Um, so, Chris kind of has an idea of where he should be going, for the most part. I think while we're figuring out where to go, now would be a good time for any announcements. Yep. This up. I'm gonna deliver the Kenya. Okay, there's a whole, there's a couple items from that quest. Um, there's a, there's an item you get from giving the Kenya to the guy here, which is normally TM50 Nightmare. Um, and then when you tell the person that gave you Kenya that you delivered it, they give you another item. So. That'll, I don't know if Chris is going to go talk to that person yet. There's not necessarily any immediate need. I'll teach that. We're going to have a flying salad. <laughs> My favorite. It just... Uh, how does Tangle fly? I was looking at its little Pokemon uh, party icon. And I was like, oh, it just spins the little blades on its head like a propeller. But no, Tangela, Tangela's got hair like I do, so I don't know. <laughs> Can you fly? <laughs> Not quite, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm open to learning, but... Hey, I need more repels. Uh, I mean... There are supers here, but it's a little bit pricey. But, I mean, it's it's, it's value, so... I also have those nuggets to sell. I need repels. Regular repel. repels, I mean, <laughs> come on. I want yeah. max repels. I'm gonna skip anything else. So Chris can pretty much sell anything, but he's got to be conscious to not sell the Waterstone um, because we deliberately grabbed that and have been holding on to it because, like I said earlier, it's gonna open up one of the Ruins of Alf chambers for us, and there's four items in there that can be helpful. So. Still on. Okay. Oh. Can be anything. Main switch. <laughs> it's a Mewtwo. No, never. <laughs> I would okay. never do that. <laughs> I'm not spending like three minutes looking for a main all over Johto and then switch <laughs> to a level five, you know? There's worse choices. All right, so I think um, yeah, we're heading down here to Union Cave and we're just picking up some items. There's a, there's a, no, what is it? No. There's a NPC in the Pokemon Center coming up that would normally give you the old rods. So that's another check as well. Um, but speaking of, you know, NPCs that give you items, there, you don't have to, if you're interested in doing this, you don't have to do full item randomizer. Like it may seem like a lot right off the bat. Yeah. Um, there's a much more linear variant called Key Item Randomizer, which basically will take items from this guy right here, which would be a key item, uh, the old rod, and it shuffles the key items between each other. So instead of 500 checks, you have like 30. <laughs> so it's yeah. a lot more manageable. There, there's, there's levels. You can, the iceberg goes pretty deep, and you can start very, very uh, simple and work your way towards what oh, this is. Sir. Surf is great, but we can't use it yet because we need the fog badge. I thought that was supposed to be the fog badge. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, no, only I can jinx it. <laughs> no, you. Oh, man, we don't have the fog badge. So we just got the fog badge. Oh, I went too fast. <laughs> yeah, this Pokemaniac just has one level 10. It's not too bad. It's just a little bit annoying. Yeah. Wait, let me, let me try. Let me try. So we can't use Surf yet because we still need the fog <laughs> badge. Yeah, it's, we really do need the fog badge to be able to Surf. <sighs> okay. <laughs> The, the, if that had been fog badge, there's allegations <laughs> on, <laughs> on your monitor. <laughs> there's a twit longer being written as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans is just fuming right now. <laughs> um, so I think we're gonna pop out to Azalea to a, at the very least unlock it as a fly point. Um, although we, you know, I'll do everything. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go through here and we're gonna defeat the rockets in the slowpoke well, and also take care of Bugsy's gym. Um, the Mart, most important. Oh, yeah, the Mart. Uh, no, we, no. Ex oh, Exatex, yes. I yeah. have money, I think. You just sold two nuggets. I'd be concerned if you didn't. <laughs> you sold the protein also. 
proteins give you some stat exp uh, for your stats, but like it's it's way more value to just sell it for money than it is to I'll use it for any attack bonus. Just in case I die. There's no way I'll die, but. Yeah, just doing these checks now because I'm still looking for th for the pass. Yeah, we just need some way to cancel because like unlocking cancel at this point just just by itself without even getting the fog bed just will just give us a lot of checks like for a lot of places. It has all the marts available. Oh yeah, so points. many more marts as well. Except <laughs> that's an aspect I just keep overlooking. Yeah, yeah. Future mart is locked behind cut, which is in logic as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the game the game would never soft lock. Like the game knows when you're able to grab which items. So yeah, back would, when four yeah. item randomizers started, um, you know there were situations where you know the game was not progressible. But like the the it, the randomizer just been developed over years at this point, and you know we've run into every problematic situation possible and patched it up. That the logic's fairly smooth now. Like there's it's pretty unlikely we'll run into like a game breaking issue. The crowbar that sped me. That's uh, the least surprising news I've heard today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you might need to heal that paralysis, but you'll probably out get outsped anyway. <laughs> no, I'm level 18. I should be fine. Uh, while we're taking out care of a slowpoke, well, I think now's a good time for some messages. Sounds good, Halkari. I got quite a few of them, and I, uh, I do want to quickly remind folks that uh, I know Chris mentioned the Mario 64 incentive that is not currently open at the moment, but if you are interested in contributing to that, do stay tuned. But uh, in the meantime, we got Hylier with $10 saying, I work with the elderly and campaigned with the American Alzheimer's Association last year. Happy to support Alzheimer Fondon. The first survivor is out there. Go Chris and go Halk. I'm part of this. I'm helping. <laughs> you are. I'm the tracker. I'm playing the most important role. Yeah, I said the tracker really is easily mod. one of the most important things about a run like this one. So Absolutely. I'd say, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. All right. We also got a five dollar donation from my best team is six Gardevoirs, who says, <laughs> who or rather, who asks, who's right? That old gentleman who says to win with Meta Pokemon, or Elite Four member Karen who says to win with your favorites. Meta. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, we passed quite a bit of favorites oh, while, we were, uh, while we were looking for a meta Pokemon. <laughs> I would certainly describe her as meta. <laughs> uh, do I got time for a couple more? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, wonderful. Edward Malice sends $50 saying, Missed most of ESA this year, but excited to check out the VODs this weekend. And then, last but certainly not least, we got Q with $38. Donating for one of my favorite Pokemon, Nine Tails, Fluffy Tails. And it has nine of them. Imagine lying in them. I wish Chris good luck with this randomizer. Let's hope the key items do not end up in obscure places. I think we've been pretty lucky so far. Like nothing, nothing too crazy. This is a good start, yeah. I mean, we got one of the items out of logic with the uh, uh, escape rope chamber. Oh, yeah. But, like, Was there no escape ropes? No, no, I bought escape ropes at some did point. Did you? Okay. Yeah, I have ten, so... Yeah, so we're doing the Farfetch quest because uh, this is where you get vanilla cut. Um, we'll see what it oh. ends up being. Yeah, nothing great. Uh, but you'll notice that the cut tree's already gone. Um, that's one modification that's, that's been made for the randomizer to make the game more accessible. Uh, so you don't have to have cut just to get through Ilex Forest. Yeah, it, it just reduces backtracking most of the time. All these things are optional, though. If you get into this, you can you can modify however you like. Any any item can be part of it or not part of it. Yeah, there's so many modifiers and changes you can make and variations, and you know it can be simple, complex. Like some, you know, there's there's people uh, that you know don't like fun. That uh, I believe they've even randomized phone numbers to be items. Oh yeah, we call it nightmare. <laughs> it's a little nightmare. Little ridiculous. Nightmare is rough. Like when I, when I say the iceberg goes deep, it goes to places you would never even imagine. So, you know, there's there's plenty to do in the randomizer community for this game. Nightmare includes the buck catching contest as well. You have to get first, second, third, and fourth place for different <laughs> items. Uh, is that you have to clock reset four times then, right? Yeah, well, uh, if, you, if you're good. If you, getting second and third place is really difficult. It's very difficult, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's, there's not just uh, randomizing to beat red. There's also uh, randomizer bingo. And one of the goals on there is Everstone or Goldberry, which are, is the second and third place prize in, ran, er, in the bug catching contest. So. Body slam. 
Uh, you never taught strength, right? No. All right, good. So, I yeah, we can, we can teach uh, Body Slam and never have to worry about strength. Yeah, I, I would say that's the one move that's just objectively Oh, better. there it is. And now we can serve. And we have... Yeah. This is really good, actually. And we have fly, so I can, I can just go right here. Mm -hmm. And then fly back to Azalea after. We're gonna do. Check the water stone we're gonna do the Waterstone Chamber yeah. super early. And Slowpoke well even. Yeah, we're gonna go to the basement here. Um, there's a TM and an item. Uh, there's a TM, and then there's a guy that would normally give you a King's Rock. Yeah, I would always check this anyway later, so I might as well do it now while I'm here. I'm just looking for the pass. He'll find it. Oh, the SS ticket now. Fine, too. Oh, did I not repel? Oh, I'm too low level. <laughs> we shouldn't do this, actually. <laughs> we can't repel. Uh, you have a rare candy. I mean, if you kill this, it might give you enough uh, HP. <laughs> let me run. Because that thing was also 21. I don't know if I would have one-shot it with Rock Throw. Yeah. Get me out of here. All right, change of plan. I'm not doing uh, Waterstone Room yet. Yeah, to, to be able to go to the water center room, he would have to cross another dreaded body of water. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we got to get high things level. Are, things are a little bit higher level there. Um, I'm trying to think. You can go to Soft Sand Girls. You are you could. out of your mind? <laughs> it, it, it was an idea. I didn't say it was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> the way I, I hate that check. It's not, not I'm pleasant. Ne no. I'm not going to beat him. I'll rather end my run. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah, we'll just start up a new seed. No, <laughs> I, eventually, we might have to do it. it. The estimate's pretty generous, I would say, at 220. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if it's like worst case, then we might go over. I'm trying to think of other surf checks you can get. Oh, Waterfall's pretty good. That unlocks, um, oh, with Surf and Waterfall. Yeah, we have access a, to a Victory Road now. You can literally do the entirety of Mount Mortar. That too. Except I cannot repel there. All right, yeah. That's, that's really the big issue is that we just can't, uh, you know, we can't keep the encounters away. You know, because we can optimize a lot of, uh, you know, optimize a lot of aspects of this game, but encounters just are always going to suck, <laughs> no matter what you do. There's an item here you can pick up, and there's also an item in the trees right here as well. Hidden item. Yeah. This <laughs> backspace is full, probably for the best. But yeah, Pokemon Crystal has very, very, very limited backspace. Uh, unlimited backspace didn't become a thing until Gen 4. So you have to be very, very, um, you know, conscious of, uh, you know, what you're, camp what you're keeping around. Um, luckily, the box is pretty, pretty spacious. Yeah. So if you need to deposit items that you want to keep, but you don't necessarily need on you, that's an option. So we're in the basement of Goldenrod now. We can do the basement key segment uh, because we're at six badges, not... No, we're at seven. It's too late. We can't do it anymore. Right. Uh, yeah, we're at seven. Seven badges, so I'll do it later when we find the card key. Um, <laughs> double edge. Nah. Uh, I don't like the recall. Reminder to teach about body slam. <laughs> um, we're, we're fine for now. So, yeah, if, if Chris had come in here during six badges, uh, there would be no rockets downstairs. They uh, on, but yeah. we just got our seventh badge, so, uh, you know, there's going to be That's no several big deal. trainers. I'd rather do some of the lower level stuff first to get Ursa Ring going. Mm -hmm. Because the fights in there are like in the 30s. Are you gonna fight Rival 4 or no? Hmm? Rival 4? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not gonna do that now. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> what I was asking. I was like, that that sounds kind of. That's no, no, no. bad idea. You probably could with the exit. Probably effect, could. But it's probably not, could. you know, not really I safe. Get this item here, though. And these are the specialty shops. Let's see you. Oh, I heard the word shop. Yeah. Okay. Rare Candy's 4600 Oh, that's a deal. $200 deal. Okay. Oh, is that both Haircut Brothers down here at once? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, level balls used to be amazing, but not really anymore since they made the catches guaranteed. Because uh, level balls were the only balls that were broken and just didn't really function well. Or they were broken to be always a catch. All right, we're missing Whitney. Uh, I'll play it safe, actually. Um, so since we talked to the headbutt guy in the forest and the sweet scent girl just outside the forest, that that made two new items appear in the shop mm -hmm. right here. 
May lower speed. Okay, that could be Aurora Beam or Icy Wind. Both. Or Bubble Beam. Pretty good moves, yeah. Or Bubble. That might be it. Or oh. or Constrict. <laughs> yeah. The worst move in the game. It's like 20 power. It's 10. 10, <laughs> 10 base so, power. Sorry, I gave it too much credit. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Yeah, it's 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 terrible. I don't know what they were thinking. Uh, luckily, there's only one required trainer in this gym, uh, so it's a, probably one of the fastest gym checks, I reckon. Yeah. Slash karate chop's pretty good. I might just go. It's even faster now with biking doors. I changed my mind. I think moves over category right now. Physical special. Because I'm not using setup yet. Mm. Yeah, as we're uh, just taking care of the gym here, uh, we got time for a little, couple more announcements if you have any. Absolutely, we got ourselves a $20 donation from Momo Mansion saying, Crystal Randos are my favorite runs to watch. Thanks for bringing such a fun run, Chrism. Never donated, so I have no idea what I'm doing, but I heard something about making a 30 star run into 70 star, which I am all for. Well, thank you very much for your donation. Of course, I do want to quickly remind our folks that that incentive is currently not available yet. But again, stay tuned for when it is. In the meantime, I suppose I could uh, let you in on what we do have available. And a few runs from now, we will have Portal 2. Now, for those that don't know, I happened to host the first Portal run. And for that, we had some hilarious ESA memes going on as part of this big, fantastic visual mod going on so if you would like to see that sort of thing happen for portal 2 we need to reach two thousand dollars for that particular goal now of course that does not sound like a lot of time but we do have a bit of a start we are currently sitting at 183 dollars so chat again pokemon donations if you so choose to otherwise you know the uh, good old donation train could potentially help get us there whatever the case i believe in you all so let's see if we can get there yeah, so uh, Whitney had a gold berry, which is a fantastic item. Um, and uh, you know, we haven't really picked anything up since. Uh, it's been a while, yeah. Yeah. It's been quite a bit. Like, yeah, I don't know. A lot of things that we're choosing to not do, like Mount Mortar, uh, are in logic because we have all these items now. But. Mm -hmm. um, Mortar has high levels, though. Yeah, but th that's the thing that it is in logic, but we won't be able to repel the encounters. So that's why we're Maybe I'll just catch stuff. the highest level available. Yeah, just put it in front. Surely. I, okay. I'm still down to main switch again. Yeah, that's probably why you're holding on to body slam, right? Yeah. I, sh I, I should be high enough level for this area. Yeah, high encounters, high level encounters are mostly in the world or waterfall rooms. Yeah, the bag's not too full for it's that. <laughs> Can always squeeze some room in there for money. We can buy rare candies, so that's could that's make anything runnable. A bit absurd. You can just buy rare candies. They're expensive, though. Yeah. Uh, the bag is actually too full. Do I... Okay, if I main switch here, I would have to catch the highest level, give it a candy, so I can repel, and then do the waterfall segment. Mm -hmm. Um, it's not a bad idea. It's actually higher I think level. I have like three rare candies right now, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not worried about the candy. I don't know what the high level is. I think 32. I get excited every time, every time something gets accepted into your Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when the Pokeball disappears. Yeah, Mount Mortar, uh, it's very, very convoluted. There's quite a few checks in here. It's not quite the place with the large amount of checks. I think that's still... Uh, oh, I don't know about... I was going to say World Islands, but that just has the most encounters. I'll do it. We'll just catch the highest level no matter what. Yeah, incoming Mewtwo. Well, it's a, it's a huge well it is a very huge waterfall. Yeah, unfortunately, waterfall is not physical in this generation, so it wouldn't be good for our strings moveset. Uh, physical special split didn't happen until Gen 4. So um, basically, uh, what I mean by that is uh, every type that has an evil evolution plus dragon is special, and then every other type is physical. And it doesn't matter what move it is, that is the hard and fast rule. That's another item in the... Oh, no, you already got Sweet Sun from yeah. Sweet Sun Girl. Yeah. All right, come on. Be like level 33 or something. No, I'm always <laughs> Mantine everywhere. It's just like, hey, you should have picked me. <laughs> you should have picked me. You're not even in the 30s. 
just keep it's just out here training in the wilderness just trying to show you what, what a mistake you made for not picking it it's gonna keep coming back the whole run no i'm, I'm it's gonna, gonna just be red i'm ace. just gonna <laughs> deal with the encounters at this point yeah it's not it's, too bad especially we have to get through the, this room yeah, especially with the the fast animations and stuff like i'm noticing that um it, the game doesn't wait for cries to play out fully before it displays hud elements so that's pretty fast because th that that thing kind of made jinx really bad to run because Jinx has a notoriously long cry, um, so you'd have to wait for Jinx's cry to finish, and then that, <laughs> then it would transition to whatever's next. Welcome to the team. I have to watch its evolution now, or I'll just cancel it. Yeah, you can cancel it. Unless we want to switch to the Sentra. <laughs> you know, I, I don't really appreciate the inconsistent <laughs> position you have here, because Persian was not good enough for you, but Furret, absolutely. <laughs> I'm, just kidding, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Absolutely, let's run Furret. I think you should let it evolve. No. Just, just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it wants. But yeah, now uh, I think you put uh, Sentra in the front, so... That should be the highest level encounter in here. So, um, you know, nothing should bother us anymore. Yeah, there's quite a few encounter or quite a few checks in here. And uh, it's pretty... It's very, very, very easy to miss one. Especially with the hidden items in play as well. Yeah, yeah we're still missing uh, every part of the Poke Gear, unfortunately. Mm. Um, Poke Gear basically has three parts: the uh, Poke Gear itself, the Radio Card, and the Expansion Card. And we're going to need all three parts to uh, awake the Snorlax uh, in Kanto. I think that's still required. Maybe you can get around. It, it is. Somewhere. It is. Okay. Yep. So yeah, that's just a puzzle in and of itself. We got to put together <laughs> at some point. Uh, we can find the radio card without the Poke Gear, so it's not like we have to find the Poke Gear first, luckily. Yeah, that would make too much sense. Uh, after this, right. I don't even know where to go. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go to Olivine. Okay. Have him in there. And we can surf to sign what for another shop as well. Mm, right, the pharmacy. Candy. Got your candy back. Okay. Yeah, like at this point, like, we're at the point where the game <laughs> might want us to go like one spot and there's gonna be like a lot there. Uh, like, I don't know. Hopefully not, um, uh, Rocket Hideout. <laughs> yeah, I would still enjoy a main switch. We just don't have Before. access to very many high-level encounters. We have Surf, but... Uh, no, oh, actually, yeah. let's gamble. Why not? We like gambling. Absolutely. If it's not for money, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I was trying to watch a stream the other day, and I, <laughs> I couldn't use my channel points to gamble. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my freedom? <laughs> um, We're going to fight the rival here, it looks like. Um... Rival's not too bad. Uh, unfortunately, it will uh, have the Meryl still. I'll, I'll just use Rock Throw. Yeah, it's a little of a tough fight. Yeah, this is kind of a kind of a dangerous fight in uh, vanilla speedruns of Crystal. Uh, just because at this point you're still using the um, the Croconaw, I'm pretty sure, and the the Bay Leaf. And that speedrun has like Razor Leaf and it can has a pretty high chance to crit and it's just it's a nightmare. Ah. Uh, Vital throw. Uh one thing you may be noticing here. is that Chris is uh using bag management to put items at the very top uh, that he plans to use a lot. Um because you know you could just menu all the way down to X item every time you want to use an X item. But um if you just take the small amount of time to move the items in a more convenient spot. Uh, you'll end up saving back the time that you spent doing that, plus more. So it's very, very much worth the time. Yeah, that fight wasn't too scary. Mm -hmm. I'm out of headbutts. Uh, just two more slots down here. All right, so I'm, we're releasing the roamers now, and they're randomized too. And we, you can recognize the cries. Usually I have Chet help me with this, but now it's you. I... Okay. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> I, I know what the third one was. Uh, the third one's Larvitar, I think. Or it may, it's either Larvitar or Celebi. That's what you can. Could be Celebi. I think the first one was Cloyster. Uh, the first two sounded the same. 
<laughs> he sounded very similar. I can't be convinced otherwise. Pikachu? Eh, Pikachu sounds about right. I don't have a Thunderstone. <laughs> Unfortunate. And it's it's alright that you don't, because Raichu's not any good anyway. Wait, Pikachu. Yeah, there's an entire generation of kids now that think Pikachu's cry in the video game is just Pika. <laughs> After Gen 6, True. they changed it. Did I check the... Did I check the item? Yeah, you did. Uh, okay. Alright, um... The roamers are a 20% chance to be available right next to Ecrotique immediately after releasing them. Unlucky. <laughs> <laughs> they could still be there, you know. They replaced one of the 10% slots, I think. Um... Another Rakani, thank God. Uh, yeah. It's, but at that point, you know, it's not worth sitting there forever to look for it. You can read another donation. Sounds good. Before I do, I could also, if if willing, I could uh, mention the predictions for those Roamer cries. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay, chat says it was Shelter, Graveler, and Celebi. Celebi. Okay. okay, I got Celebi, right? Kinda. All right, so oh. now moving on to them donations, we got a no comment anonymous $20 donation. Thank you for your generosity. That will be going to the Portal 2 memification bid. And then we also got Cron Burgundy 13 giving $100, hey. saying Pokemon randomizers are some of my favorite things to play with my friends, and ESA are some of my favorite weeks of the year. Thank you to everyone for bringing great people together for such a great cause. Got another mark check here. Have you already checked this mark? Nope. No. We have not okay. been here. Okay. Uh, oh, Poke Gear. That that's good. Oh, Zephyr Badge. Okay. Poke Gear, Zephyr Badge. Uh, I'm getting my X defend now. Um, what does Zephyr Badge open up? Flash if you get it, but mm -hmm. we don't have Flash yet. It gives us an attack boost. Oh yeah, true. A oh, machine part. That's kind of a. We still have no way to Kanto. <laughs> we can't really turn that in, but it's nice to have, I guess. Okay, are, are all of the Day of the Week siblings already loaded in? Okay. Yeah, anything that's weekday related is, is just available at all times. Okay. In Nightmare, actually. Except in the one we're playing, I think the buck catching contest isn't available at all to all days. Because it's not required for items. Yeah, so Chris actually just got the sign with a uh, fly point and then just flew to it. It's not something you could ever take advantage of in a normal run <laughs> or like even like a, a bingo or something like that. It's only something you'd be able to Trash. use in, um, yeah. It's only something you'd be able to use in uh, in like an item randomizer because you can't have fly before getting to the place where you get the storm edge. <laughs> so. Wasn't the other one in the escape room too? <laughs> yeah, I think so. All right. Um, still on the Earth Ring, I guess. Do I have seven badges? Oh, I do. Let's yeah. go. We'll just go this way. I was going for the shiny, but I just go this way now. There's a few uh, item slots on this route in particular. Um, and not very many, but since we're going over here to Ice Path anyway. Oh, there it goodness. is. Okay, we can finally go to Kanto. All right, I'm just going to keep going here for now, though. And then we'll head to Kanto. I don't have to do any battles. Yeah, might as well go all the way through Ice Path and unlock Blackthorn. Yeah, there's, a, there's a chance he doesn't really have to do anything in Blackthorn, uh, like be clear. Oh, we have but... the Silver Wing. You do have the Silver Wing. I can get, I can get Lugia in the dark. Oh, wait, you have all the pieces of Exodia? I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, to get Lugia, you need the Silverwing, you need uh, Whirlpool, Surf, and the badges that enable that. So everyone in the community <laughs> jokingly so calls it <laughs> assembling the pieces of Exodia. And it's a level 60 encounter, unless it got nerfed and nobody told me. It is 60. Okay. Yeah, we should should have checked that. You still I mean, just now it was our first time to Olivine anyway. Mm -hmm. and yeah. 
Yeah, that's great. I, I can do that in the dark. It's out of logic as well, but I'll just do all of Whirl in the dark. I guess I can flex a little bit with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can get to the Lugia, but it, I, I don't trust myself today to do the entire... It's, it's a struggle. Like, it's not easy. Especially with hidden items, it can't be easy at all. Maybe, like, with the regular items, they're always visible, but it's a lot easier. Pretty good movement. It's very, 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 very hard to do that optimally. Yeah. Just because, like, um, you, know, you, you turn and look down when you're trying to go down, and you think you've held it long enough, but no, all you did was turn. <laughs> so, you know, you're just sitting there turning in place, and it's, it can get really, really tilting. But when that movement's oh. done perfectly, it looks very, very nice. Did Ooh. I? Am I not? It's female, though. Trash. <laughs> I'm not high level enough. Did you not what? I'm not high level enough. Oh, what were we going to say before the Dragonite encounter? Oh, you're not high level enough? Okay. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Because of, I got an encounter. Yeah, well, that won't be a problem very soon. <laughs> at least, like, you know, if you don't want to use the Lugia, at least it's a good, de like, deterrent for all the areas in the game. Expansion, Expansion card. card. Very nice, very okay. nice. Uh, useless until we get the radio card, but it's nice to have. If we find the radio, we can move the Snorlax, and that's a level 50 encounter. Mm -hmm. well, that could be good. In case the Lugia sucks. Yeah. Surely Lugia will be runnable at level 60, no matter what it is. That's money. Too late. Yeah, we're kind of beyond needing money at this point. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are we gonna, we're not going to go fight Claire, are we? Nope, just okay. Santos. Thanks, Santos. Very cool. Nothing. No. I mean, we're doing very, very well on items right now. Like, um, you know, we've got the pass. We can go to Kanto. Uh, we've got a lot of areas that just have a lot of checks that we can just access, like, uh, you know, War Islands and the entirety of Kanto with all of its marts. So we've got a lot. Like, we're not really struggling yet. That beginning was kind of a struggle, <laughs> not gonna lie. You know, while we were looking for... Uh... But we had fly. Oh, I can't repel here either. My god. Honestly, misplay. Yeah, the highest level here is like a 30 sometimes during the day. Since I'm not doing any battles, we'll just put our friend Centric in the Yeah. <laughs> the Centric can stare down Lugia. Yeah. Take, one for, take one for the team. Low poke tail, delicas delicatessy. Oh, there's Roamer. the Roamer. Uh, uh, Cloyster's fine, but it's, no. you know. It just pairs song. <laughs> no! No! No, Centric! <laughs> it's dead. No, okay, well, we we'll have to put Earthring back in the lead. <laughs> Centric deserved better. <laughs> and. Centric enjoys our jam. Imagine getting Parish trapped by the Roamer. You can't run from a from a Centric to Mega Lol or from a Shelter. Uh, these are in, uh, slots that okay, um, were traditionally up. supposed to go through uh, Dark Cave and use the Rock Smash 4. But if you're coming from um, Blackthorn, you can just jump down here. There there still are some slots in Dark Cave, so might have to check those later if, uh, you know. I'll do them later. Yeah, because they're not even in Logic yet because we don't have Flash. Uh, do we have eight badges? We do. So we can get the Master Ball from... Professor. It's just the rising badge. Oh, yeah, just yeah. the rising badge for that. Ah. <laughs> don't, mind, do don't, that? don't mind that. Don't mind that. <laughs> Everything's fine. It, surely, it looked fine to me. Um. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this before I even going to Kanto then. Mm -hmm. Uh. As well. I'm gonna revive that Centret. Very kind of you. You could have just left it for dead. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, we make space for it. I don't know what the levels are like in World Islands, but you know, the center certainly can't hurt. I thought you were gonna be like good Samaritan, just I'm gonna revive the center and then <laughs> put it in the box. <laughs> put it in the PC. <laughs> just so it doesn't suffer anymore. Oh we're running a little bit low on repels. Yeah. Luckily max repels are two hundred and fifty steps, so
I do get lost sometimes in the dark. But um, we find this time. Yeah, you sure. probably need to focus. Now's a really good time for donations. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, sure, sure. Go for it. Extra heart mode. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just a single donation. Yeah, we go for it. Go for it. Here with twenty dollars. No problem. <laughs> go for it. Go for it. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I've we got Svar giving a twenty dollars, no comment, but thank you so much, and uh, that will also go to the Portal Two ESA memification run or incentive, which is currently sitting at two hundred and twenty-three dollars out of two thousand. Now I know it's a bit of a ways to go, but chat, I believe in you. That's very decent process progress. Well, process progress. What's the difference? Progress so far, and uh, I do believe we have the power to make it work. Of course, I would also like to just make uh, mention too that if you might be looking forward to the Ghosts of Tsushima run, we do have the Japanese Voices Incentive, which is currently sitting at fifty dollars out of the target one thousand. Mm, that can work. So, if you'd like to see that, then uh, you all know what to do! Exclamation point! Donate or check out our links in the description uh, down below. And I'm with that. Back to you two. Yeah, the cry sounded very short, so I thought it was something terrible. <laughs> so. Gold egg's great. And gold egg could be, work could be good enough, yeah. Especially when you put surf on it. That, that hits like a truck. All right, I'll do the rest in the dark, too. Yeah, I am going to be quiet here, because uh, Chris needs to listen to Bonks to know where he is. Uh, Pokedex Flash. Like, light up the way. Okay, everything's fine. Oh, okay, let's go, let's go. We can check that before committing to the Golduck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just in case this Snorlax is like a Mewtwo or something. That, that's the tier list here. Golduck and then Mute too, like right above it. Right. Everything else is kind of irrelevant. Oh. Right here. Uh, this is, by the way, not required for if you do any of these randomizers. You never have to do anything in the dark to make progress. It's just for style This is points. just... <laughs> no, well, style point. It can be helpful, like getting a main... Mm. Or even like, you know, all the logic means is like the path required to get a guaranteed finish. Yeah. That doesn't mean that going to World Islands can't make you go faster. Yeah. You know, if you get something that, you know, opens up the game a lot more like a you know, like a squirt bottle in Dark Cave or something. Oh yeah, that was a pretty that was a pretty good dark segment. I yeah. didn't didn't get yeah. stuck too often. Yeah. Very good. So we're finally going to Kanto. Uh first of all we're getting to uh Saffron City here. Um there's a few checks here. There's a Mart. Um there's the uh, I don't, I don't know if the, the the fake gym is like randomized or not. It's just like and one item, one item, yeah. The daycare here on Route Four. You can buy a nugget, sell it later. Candies, why not? Buying rare candies. Just, just flex your wealth. It's it's so unnecessary. <laughs> We're level sixty, like it's it's not gonna be necessary. Yeah. Unless level fifty is something something quite remarkable. A reminder you can uh, turn the machine part. Yeah, we could do the machine part. It's out of logic too. We have neither cut nor flash. Mm -hmm. So getting there you either have to go through rock tunnel. 
or cut the bush uh, in Cerulean. Mm -hmm. There's like six items, like or more in Rock Tunnel. I said six, but, but thinking about just the item balls, but I remember now there's hidden items. So we did. We found a badge in the dark, which means it will be in logic at some point. It has to be like the mm -hmm. dark is in logic, guaranteed, because we found a badge in the dark. So we know that now. Yeah, you know that Flash is going to be required to finish yeah. the run. Yeah, and Flash is going to be required to finish the run either way, logic-wise, mm. uh, because Mount Silver is dark, and they make they never oh, they, they never make okay. you go through the dark. Right. Yeah, that's that's just one thing. I I just I didn't know that there were lights in Mount Silver. Yeah. Because <laughs> more often than not, you're just going through there in the dark. Probably one of the first dark segments people learn is just getting through Mount Silver. Better War Islands. Titan's evasiveness. Sounds like sounds like minimized to me. Mm -hmm. Double team. There's an item here from this guy. Sure. The claw. That is not terrible, you know, if uh, we get a slow main. Level, level 50 slow bro incoming. Mr. Psychic. Okay. That's not what I wanted, Psychic guy. <laughs> I want badges. Psychic would have been kind of cool, actually. In order to finish now, <laughs> the only items remaining are all the badges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're in, uh, we're, hey, hold on. Oh, no, they can't see it, but we're in go mode, kind of. <laughs> go mode. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, so, yeah, we're That's just going cool. around doing some easy checks, so if you have any more announcements to make, now's a good time. All right, sounds good. We've got a $10 donation from Datomic saying, Hey, Chris, how many types will Red have? Chris Uga. <laughs> 12, <laughs> I believe. Huh. Yeah, that could Oh, happen. no more. That'd no like more Persians. <laughs> I can't run. Sorry. I, I, was, the... I was just going to say, I assume that's the maximum amount of dual typings he could have. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We always do a prediction for how many... A Goldock has teleport. Oh, yeah. I don't want to use that. Um, we always do a prediction for how many types there are total on Me? red. Um, nine. You want to guess nine? Yeah, I'll guess nine. All right, cool. Yes. I'll go ahead and guess a little bit lower than that. Let's go with seven. Yeah, we're probably going to get some overlap. So that's probably the yeah, probably the safest bet. We've also had got anything... a, another quick donation. Oop. Oh, yeah. We've had anything from... Three <laughs> to ten. That's what we've seen before. Okay, go ahead. All right, no problem. So, Albert sends $15 saying, Greetings from Costa Rica. Good luck with the run. Soft Sand Girls have the Soul Badge, and, re and Red Gamba is eight. Chris Grin, celebratory hands in the air. I, I believe them. They have the spoiler logs. We should go do something. Oh, they don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we don't have cuts, so I have to leave here. Yeah, it's as far as we can go. You can't even, like... <laughs> Pewter City's right there, but you can't nope, go. Can't you just go don't have cut. Uh, we go here. And you don't have cut, nor do you have the, uh, the insect badge. Or hive badge. All right, we're about to hit up the second Big Mart. Hopefully, we'll find five badges in there. Do a little safe strat here. Okay, in case all the... Oh, yeah, because you have to kind of go deep in here to get an item. Yeah. It's faster to reset the game than it is to walk all the way out. Yeah. Uh, are they, there's no game corner prizes, are there? No. Okay. They they are part of Nightmare. Oh, they changed the leftovers trash can. I, I unrandomized it. Oh, I randomized it. But the leftovers are anywhere. You can buy them, maybe, even. I don't need them, that's why. Opium. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, we're not, we're just looking for the badges. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I need uh, There might be some no. things that can help us. Like, there might be. I couldn't afford that. We technically don't need any more key items except for the badges, but, like, there could be, like, items that we get, like, lost item that leads to something. Like, uh, when we go to uh, Saffron City to turn that in, uh, the copycat girl could have one of the badges. So in that case, you know, getting a couple more key items wouldn't be the worst thing ever. But for the most part, they're not really the priority of Rainbow Badge. 
Okay. Pretty good. You don't need to do a uh, radio tower, right? No. Okay. Oh, high patch? High badge, okay. That was a pretty good tower. Or Mart, I mean. Yeah, two more badges. And lost item, so you can go check copycat. Uh, radio tower is actually really good in this because it unlocks another Mart. The card key section unlocks another Mart. Uh, in Mahogany. Oh, Mahogany. Okay. Uh, Mahogany. Okay. Not my teach powders now. Oh, not a terrible move. Um, you know, Ice is a pretty good type for attacking. You have to fight this trainer to get into um, Fuchsia City. So. Run could technically be Cutlass. Yeah, there was no item we got that required Cut, was there? Like one that we like went around or something? I don't think so. Like anything No, you, you, you can't. You, like if it requires Cut, then you can't get it. Yeah. Should I use the candies? Uh, you're not going to get another thing that's better than the Skull Duck, so sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Might as well. Yeah, uh, there is a benefit to keeping things lower level than not. Oh, in Scarlet and Violet, you get to just use all the candies at once. Ah, um, we don't have that luxury yet. Yeah, so there is a benefit to keeping Pokemon lower level and then candying at the end. Uh, this game, or the modifier, or the mod we're using, uh, has the black-white experience curve, where, um, you know, uh, EXP is kind of stagnated the higher level you are than the things you're defeating. Um, so if you were to stay level 60... Um, he may get a little bit more experience than than he would at level 70 or wherever he's at right now, but it's so marginal that we might as well just take the... Yeah, take I'm just taking it now to one-shot more things without setup. That's how it's going to save me time. Mm -hmm. Like, you might be able to squeak out maybe another level, like if you were to delay the candies, yeah, which is maybe not that more. much. <laughs> this is not Legends of Arceus where your level dictates most of your damage output. It is, uh, it is mostly stat-based. Okay, Janine, uh, she just has a badge. I don't think she uses a TM, does she? She does. Two items. Yeah. Nothing crazy, though. A toxic TM, I think. Usually. Alright, we don't have cut, so I'm moving on. Let's go to Lavender. Oh, you want to stop by the copycat real quick? Good call. Yeah, she could have a badge. Not likely. Good, though. Yeah, we already have that. Bad call. <laughs> Bad call. <laughs> I felt good for like 15 seconds. <laughs> I made a good call. No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, Selfco probably doesn't have anything. Um, here, we're going to uh, Lavender. Lavender has a Mart. Uh, I don't think there's much else there, though. Yeah, not much without cut. And a couple items. Yeah, it would be most, nice finishing the game without the cut. Mart. But, you know. That would open up a lot for us. Ooh, okay. Jeez. All right, it's looking really good now. Right, three more badges and we're done. I might be an hour underestimate, guys. <laughs> the problem is, you know. Uh, no, not actually. Yeah. I hope the next runner is ready. <laughs> they might not be awake yet. <laughs> it's a wake up call. <laughs> oh, I forgot to repel. Shoutouts to the Nine Hills donation from earlier. Yeah, there's a few. Um, so there's a few slots on, or a few checks on this route. Um, like, well, <laughs> there's something involved cut, you know, which we're quite allergic to right now. I mean, if it's cutless, that's fine. Um, cut could be in Mount Silver, which means nothing's locked behind cut. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I'm be, I'd be okay with that. It just means we're skipping more checks. So I can't, I can't do this one and, and the one right below it. Mm -hmm. Cutless would be awesome. Yeah, saves time. Yeah, but, but at the same time, if we were to get cut, that's like, oh, that's a lot of more slots we just opened up. Yeah. True. So oh, I had know. something in mind. Okay, I'm going I'm going to Pewter City, but from here, because we don't have cut. Yeah, so after you get the eight badges, um, you can walk through uh, the right gate at the Pokemon League to go to Kanto. You can go Th to the these are your first here. steps in Kanto. I don't think so, man. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Let me show you my passport. Uh, 
Uh, item quite out the way here. This is one that people might like save and reset for. Yeah, like you did. <laughs> I missed the save. <laughs> um, did you get scared? <laughs> I just I thought you didn't think about it for some reason. Uh, there's an item on the left side here. Uh, could be a badge. Three badges to go only. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, that actually unwalls us, especially. Mm -hmm. We have water dark right now, and that, so, that is only walled on Holy Wrath. So you know how you told me to remember where the X specials were? Yeah. I forgot. I think it was Azalea. I, <laughs> I think it was Azalea. No, it was Goldenrod. Oh, okay. First of all. I got some you remembered. <laughs> you know, you're telling me to remember something's I, a mistake. I have the memory. I already goldfish. bought them, though. Don't worry. Okay, I bought good. them somewhere else. Okay. A couple items on the ground over here. There's one item that's locked behind Whirlpool over here, which we can get. Yep, I'll get it. The absolute best case scenario is if Surf is in Mount Silver. Because Surf is technically not required to get there. Um, which would mean wor Surf, Whirlpool, and Waterfall is all out of logic. And, and nothing's behind it. <laughs> which is huge. Mm -hmm. I've only ever had that happen once. And I PB'd by like only a few minutes because the rest of the seat was bad. So Giga Drain does the same thing. Giga Drain and Psybeam. Yeah, Giga Drain suffers from a PP problem, but at the end of the game against Red, I, I don't think PP is that much of a concern. Yeah, there's also, not only are we just going to Peter City, um, you know, and that thing that they decided to call Verdian Forest. <laughs> Yeah. That's just not at all a forest. Uh, there's like a few items on the grounds, a few hidden items as well. So we're gonna be qu getting quite a bit in our on our way to Pewter City. And then in Pewter City, there's the there's the old man that would normally give you the silver wing. Um, there's Brock. Uh, there's another Mart. So mm -hmm. there's plenty there for us to check as well. A uh, Viridian City also has a Mart. So we're just getting through the rest of the Marts. Which one do I teach? Between Cybeam and Giga Drain. Yeah. I'd say Psybeam is PP. Then maybe if you want to, so you can teach Giga Drain for red. Mm. Uh, while we're clearing out Victory Road here, now's a good time for some announcements. All right, sounds good to me, Halkery. We let's take a quick look at some uh, some other potential uh, bid options that our wonderful audience could potentially donate to for runs later down the line. So I know that we happened to meet a Plum cosplay incentive, and I know you all have been taking those donations and really driving it through with them but we also got one for cuphead with miss chalice the new playable character from the latest dlc and so if you want kurthar to rock the miss chalice look well we're gonna need to hit 1500 it's currently sitting at 70 dollars of course uh we got still got plenty plenty of time to do so otherwise i do want to remind everybody that we are raising money for Alzheimer Fonden, which is the Swedish Alzheimer Foundation, and they are trying to eventually bring us to the finish line, and to which we will eventually find a cure for Alzheimer's when the insidious forms of de dementia and a cause that I certainly can say I'm absolutely happy to support. So if you too would like to contribute, we have our donation links down below. We also have exclamation point donate in the chat. And there's also direct donations that you could do to Alzheimer Fonden as well. And of course, if you feel like you would like to chip in through Twitch subscriptions or perhaps even bits, those of course will be processed to our overall total once the event is over. I would also probably say, and this might sound like a bit of a, a bit of a meme, but don't forget that if you have Amazon Prime, you could use <laughs> Wait, that primers? Twitch subscription for uh, free. Yeah. Just think about it. You could get ESA Plum for no cost at all. Think about that, friends. Back to you all. Yeah, so uh, if you weren't paying attention, uh, we just got cut. 
Uh, we were talking about how it's going to open up a lot of checks for us, uh, and that's certainly the case now. Um, you know, there's a lot more things to look at, but, you know, some of these checks are very fast, so if if the... Clear bell, nice. Clear bell. Is that uh, Tin Tower? Mm-hmm. We I can go to Tin Tower now. <laughs> we just got a lot of checks we, unlocked. <laughs> we can do so much. We have the Rocket Base, the Shiny, Tin Tower. Mm-hmm. Now, whether it's good uh, that we got that many <laughs> slots opened up uh, all at once, we'll, we'll see. You know, because it can be items. a little bit overwhelming. Three yeah, items we're looking to for go. three items. It might be it might be a while because they could be anywhere. Yeah, it was easier when the three items could have been one of the, like the remaining eight, but now they're like one of the, like the remaining like seventy or whatever. <laughs> so just you know, can be quick, but we'll see. We're gonna go to the shiny. Okay. I'll do the the cut maze. I'm not gonna do the shiny quite yet. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's a few hidden items. There's a day of the week uh, sibling. And then there's two, there's a TM outside and there's a TM inside, so quite a few things to pick up. No. Why not? No. <laughs> or sorry. Look, it's a pretty usable move. It's it's more usable than you'd think it is. I don't know why, but I think Giga Drain might be more usable. Especially with Stab on the Earth Ring. Giga Drain will work. I think you came in contact with a PP up at some point. I don't know. Mm. I think I was item full. All right, the item on the on the right I skipped. Bobby? Okay. Uh, it's, it's it's so unfortunate that like you just there's so much money on the ground you just can't have it. I mean, at this point, it's whatever. Yeah. There's an item up here. Oh, that's the day of the week sibling as well. I like that they uh, move that hidden item to be in front of him because that yeah. hidden item is actually like underneath where he's standing, and if he's here, you, you know, you can't access it. It's a very good touch. We can also go to Mount Moon. Mount Moon has a shop and a rival fight. Pretty sick. Yeah. <laughs> it's just one one big fight. It's, it's it's fine. Yeah, Route Four is a pretty pretty uh, iconic item as well. one check or, or maybe a few of hidden items but like it's so out of the way mm, okay so yeah we're gonna have to go somewhere else uh, we could do the shiny and then do rocket hideout but rocket hideout is pretty lengthy because you have to do a lot of fights uh I, I i don't have access actually uh we go somewhere else okay honey I cannot do Clear Bell until you either do the card key section in Radio Tower or beat Morty. So mm -hmm. we're just going to take a look at the shiny. You already fought Rival, right? Where? Um, in EI yeah, Burn Tower. You could probably oh, that's a nice Morty. shiny, isn't it? Maybe like two fights for Morty. Dead. <laughs> it's littering. You can't do that. Littering. <laughs> I think there's like a hidden item over here. I am enjoying the vacation from uh, having to track things. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd love to Sweet find time more gathering. though. All right, uh, machine we're... part, maybe? Rock tunnel? Could do machine part in the dark. Oh, we have cut now, so we don't have to actually do rock tunnel. But I can do rock tunnel in the dark. We were flexing earlier, might as well. Uh, it's a bunch of items, and we know Dark is good. Uh, this is obviously not the best check right now, but I'm going to do a faster version of it where I'm skipping the final couple fights. Mm -hmm. um, You're just going to gamble that those the items at the Yeah, yeah we could always come back it. later. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get a PB. My PB in this category is 1 hour 55 minutes. That should be doable. So, uh, and this run is decent, card. Like, so I'm, I'm definitely trying to. would be cool to PB at, at the event. Yeah, we've got quite a few fights coming up, so if you have any more announcements to read while we're just plowing through this, go right ahead. Right. Well, no donations at current, but I would like to remind everybody of the few bid donation incentives that I have currently laid out for you all, such as ESA memification for Portal 2, currently sitting at $233 out of 2000 
we got the Japanese voices for Ghost of Tsushima, which is 50 out of 1,000. And then that Miss Chalice cosplay for Cuphead, 70 out of 1,500. And if you would like to ship in your donation to a bid, but you're not quite sure what to pick, well, why not both? Just go ahead and be sure to click add another. Make sure to contribute a portion of your donations amount to both of those bids and then send it right away and we will have it in no problem, no time flat. Of course, it seems as though I would also like to point out we have a bit of a hype train going on in chat. Oh. So oh, I think my mention okay. of Prime might have done something. <laughs> your influence is massive. Uh, so we just I flash. tend to do that sometimes. <laughs> we just got Flash uh, so that, um, you know, it was, we already knew it was in logic because uh, you, know, you need Flash to be in logic to finish the game. Um, but now, you know, of course, uh, you know, it's faster for you to do things with the lights on. <laughs> you certainly have that option. And then we got one more badge, so we just need the Boulder badge and the Cascade badge now. There's actually items that are locked behind Flash. Uh, oh, the Flash chamber. There, there's a Flash chamber in Ruins mm -hmm. of Elf. It unlocks when you use Flash in the room, and it's four items. Yeah. So now that we have Flash, we can actually do all the Elf chambers. Yeah, my Minus little... Ho-Oh. Yeah. Can't do Ho-Oh yet. I hope you don't have to do ho -Oh. That's not too bad. Uh, I remember when I played, you had to be the E4 for it. Um, any item requiring E4 is not part of it. Okay. So I'm skipping the password fights. Um, and I'll, I'll just come back later if we if we still need it. We're two badges from done. This is really, really early. 30 minutes to find two items in beat red. Yeah. Um, the flash chamber is going to be an easy four. Uh, and we're probably also going to do a waterstone chamber as well. The TM in here, and then I think Chris is going to go after that. Yeah, the biking doors just look so helpful. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Quality uh, of life. Here. Right after this cutscene, there's an item uh, right off screen to the right here. And then we're going to be done. All right. All right. Yeah, lavender is a good idea now. Yeah, so you can check um, the cut and count the cut slots um, on the right below. I'll I'll, oh. I'll do a rock tunnel first. Oh, yeah, rock tunnel, right? Rock tunnel is better. Yeah, machine part, all that. Just prioritizing checks that give the most items, just in case we have go a good seed <laughs> and we can finish. Yeah, as that's fast that's as what you have to do when you do these randomizers because like, <laughs> I know a lot of people. Will um, they get really superstitious about uh, the hedge maze in Cerulean. So some people just like blitz it so they can know that there's nothing there. But you have to weigh that with, you know, just trying to do the fastest checks as fast as possible. Um, <laughs> in which case you just leave the inevitable hedge maze to the end. <laughs> so definitely multiple schools of thought for uh, how to combat a rando. Yeah, it looks like we're going to turn the lights on. Absolutely no shame. There you go. Two items, uh, we didn't finish Rocket Hideout, so there's a chance yeah. that we left a badge down there, but really, hopefully, we didn't. I'm just gambling, trying to get a good PB. Was like two items down there? It's uh, the Whirlpool HM from Lance, mm -hmm. and then it unlocks Price's Gym, which is two more items, and the Sludge Bomb TM, so four. I left four items down there. Okay. Hopefully, also, none of them are bad. I also forgot an item ball on the way to the Shiny. Oh, well, I, I kind of skipped it intentionally. I, you can get that together with the Sludge Bomb TM without losing much time. Or even worse, uh, it could be like the red skill that you forgot and then Mr. Pokemon has the badge. <laughs> so. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Oh, machine part? Okay. I was like, uh, yeah, you probably should get back up here around the girl. No, no fights required. Mm-hmm. It's really nice. Um, I don't know if that girl was always a rotator in Crystal, but um, there's some notorious sections in this game that have very, very, very rough spinners in the vanilla game. Like yeah. They just spin rapidly, and they're very hard to dodge. Uh, but all spinners in this game have been changed to rotators. So they ha they spin at a consistent uh, pattern, so they're very pretty easy to get around. You can just do like consistent movement techniques. Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> See if it was runnable, yeah. Uh, it would have been funny. Yeah, it could have been a trade uh, 
Yeah, because once you have the Rising Badge, all Pokemon listen to you. Um, could have been like a Golduck from Mewtwo Tray, which would have been worth it. I've certainly. not been to Pewter City. <laughs> that's alright. That's alright. <laughs> I've not been there at all. Like, that's really good. We should do that. Yeah, that's like the most items. All of the encounters and all of the slots in the uh, Verdian Forest as well. So. I need to go to Pewter. Uh, but I need to finish this. Did you go to Verdian? Yeah, we did Viridian. Okay. You could fly to Viridian. Okay. Alright. So almost all of the machine part stuff is done now. Mm-hmm. Pewter City. I forgot about Pewter City because usually I arrive from Diglett's Cave side and not from Victory Road side. I think we might have gotten something that just completely distracted us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the forest now. It's pretty sad. Hold on, all right. <laughs> We're in there. We can get a level 10 encounter from the water. That's a pretty good move. Um, especially in today's rando where, like, you know, there's uh, much faster animations and status messages and stuff. The downside of Tri-Attack is that it just has all those percentage chances to, like, freeze, burn, and, you know. Be psychic. Hmm. Sure, it's a marathon run, right? We should buy a sleep move, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I'm very concerned, however, about the, the word may at the beginning of that description. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe hypnosis. Uh, yeah, either one of them. I don't think it'll be hypnosis, because like, it will make it go to sleep, and the word may doesn't normally apply to the accuracy. Now that I've done pewter, I can... I can oh, we should do Fuchsia City as well. As the Mart. Yeah. Right, yeah, you need to cut to get to the Mart there. Expansion card is available after you turn in the machine part. Did you already get the cut encounter, cut uh, checks down here? Nope. All right. Okay, two more checks down here, at least. Yeah, if we were to get the badges like one, two right here, like this would be a really, really good time. But obviously, <laughs> there's too much left. The odds are not that great. But uh, we're making great progress. There's one. Oh, one, re one batch from done. One batch from done. Okay, okay. All right, I think the boulder badge is on Brock. No. <laughs> what? That's, no, where, no, no. Right, that's where I always find it. I have 20 minutes to pick up this badge, <laughs> and I'll still PB. 20 minutes is a long time. Come on, dude. This would finally be I, the first good seed I had in this. I've been playing this for so long. I thought it would be anticlimactic if it was in a Dude, <laughs> right there, right there. <laughs> No! Another X special, at least. Yeah, more prepared for red. Yeah, we need 25 X specials for red. Did you check if that TM was psychic or not? No, not yet. It's psychic or shadow ball or crunch. All of those are good moves. Yeah, we have crunch already. Yeah. Shadow ball is unfortunately physical in this game. It's shadow ball. Yeah. Yeah, ghost is a physical type. Uh, chambers. Right, yeah. No. Uh. Yes. <laughs> I guess I'll, yeah, I'll just do the chambers anyway, because we're, we're one item from done. It's just, there's uh, so much to do. It's, it's a little, usually I would like to do Tin Tower first, mm -hmm. so I can do all chambers at once. You haven't, you haven't a little le A little less backtrack, because it's still active. Yeah, Morty won't be too hard to do, because like, you already did the rival fight. Um, you already unlocked the roamers. You just gotta fight the three trainers in the gym, and then Morty. It's a few fights, but um, Mount Moon is okay. It's actually not the best because of the rival fight. It doesn't matter. You're getting the last badge here anyway. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> I have not done Radi uh, Lighthouse yet either. Mm. I try to avoid it until I have the potion. Yeah, we're just um, you know just checking out some things. We're probably gonna go do the uh, 
Um, yeah, more of the chambers, right? Yeah. Uh, I guess for right now, while we're just doing this, there's a good time for some messages if you have any. Sounds good to me, Hauk. We got a couple of donations that just recently came in with uh, another donation from Q at $6. With that shout out, I just had to donate for another favorite Pokemon of mine. Charizard might be overhyped, but he has a special place in my heart. And honestly, as someone that grew up with the anime, I totally get that. And we also got Kwame Kaze giving $24.30. I'm donating $24.30 for my favorite Pokemon, Raikou. My great-grandfather is currently battling dementia, and here's so others never have to deal with it. Thank you very much for that generous <gasps> There we donation. go. Oh my there God. we go. We're going. <laughs> okay, we're going. Go, I'm, go, 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 I'm go. going to be so far underestimate. I'm sorry. Go, 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 go. Sorry, I'm going to make it to no, the movie. No, don't apologize. <laughs> go, it's all for the BB, man. Do it, do it, do it. I'm going to make it to the movie I'm going to. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's so early. We didn't have to fight any of the Kanto gym leaders. That was an exceptional seed. And, uh, yeah, this, the seed was not scouted at all, by the no, way. No, it wasn't. I promise. I I, no. I just made a seed a like I usually would. <laughs> There's no other, like, marathon safe settings or anything. This is just how I would usually run the game. A reasonable person <laughs> would, like, you know, pass it to a friend and be like, hey, can you check the spoiler log to make sure nothing is, like, yeah, completely yeah. cringe? But Chris huh. didn't even do that. I like, didn't this do could that. have been terrible. <laughs> this could have been, like, the worst seed ever. But, uh, we actually got extremely lucky with the draw. And once again, you've got flash fuel. If turning on the lights makes it a little I'll faster. keep it off for the marathon. All right. Yeah, look, look at that. We didn't hardly get anything from, like, the third row of items. Like, no... Uh, well, we did get the bike. <laughs> Sorry. Mark, mark the bike. An hour and a half. Well, we never picked late. it up, but yeah. That's true. Like, no no secret potion, no card key, SS ticket, red scale, item finder. Item finder is worthless. Yeah. Pretty good seed. Unfortunately, only one rod. But, uh, could have been better. Yeah, the hardest part of this was just getting a main. Uh, yeah, finding a main was really difficult. All right, here we are on a red. Let's see how many types he has. And if I beat him in the first 10 attempts, I should be able to PB this. <laughs> <laughs> I have faith in gold. Okay, Smeargle lead is okay. pretty pretty much a guaranteed win I can set up on this. Yeah, you need, um, like, a few X specials and an X speed if you I have need one. You an X defend. Oh! That's not good. You've got a guard a... spec, right? It's too late yes, now. Yes, I do, I do. All right. And I did save. Yeah, so if using the guard spec now at that point would have just like prevented any further stat drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I but, should. Uh, I actually was looking for the guard spec. I couldn't find it. I saw the X defense mm -hmm. first. So I went for yeah. It. yeah, it was pretty early. That's why I was at the top of your top of your bag. All right, we got the the AI doesn't really know what to do against that, and then we want an X speed. One should be enough. Oh yeah, certainly to outspeed anything. Yeah. And then we go to plus four. Yeah, this is very similar to what the lead does in the vanilla speed run. It just spams charm. Like, if it, you know, because you use a guard spec and then you do this. Oh, it's glowing. Okay. All right. And that should be, oh, I got one more. <laughs> Might as well. Oh. Okay. That yeah, should be fine here. That's one type. I don't one-shot Blissey. That's about it. That's three types. No, oh, yeah, three types. True. Uh, here we go. We have. That's four types. Four total. Uh, five. Wait, very low number. Six. And I, I, I'm, you know, incapable of winning. All right, six. All right, and we're gonna have time coming up already. One thirty-seven. Very nice. And time. best best run I've ever done in this run by far, on this category. Very very good. Yeah. And here we the credits. Um, I don't know. Um, I oh. know there's a couple places if you want to get into randomizers. I don't know if you have like a spot in your Discord or anything where people do randos. Um, there is a dedicated Discord server for this type of randomizer setup. And, um, I'm sure you'll find it. Yeah, if you look if, around, if you not, can probably you can, find you it. You can <laughs> ask around in, in my Discord or, or Shenan against Discord. Um, yeah, I would love to see more runners of this category or this this type of randomizer in general. I think it's really fun. Every run's different. We happened to get the squirt battle early this time, so it was really open from the beginning. Sometimes it's more like vanilla, where you follow um, through Azalea and then Goldenrod, and then you find the pass, usually. You're in Kanto, all over the place. Um, 
Yeah, even yeah. if it's completely random, you just get better as you do it. Yeah, yeah you get it's way like, better. And you don't have to start with hidden items on and all that. Just start with I've key item. I've never done with hidden yeah, items yeah. on. I just I wouldn't be able to handle key it. Key item randomizer is already... You have to think a lot already to like figure that out. Mm -hmm. uh, and that, that's a good start. Yeah, good place to get yourself in like the mindset of having to like adapt and you know change course like immediately if you find something new. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a lot of fun and you know definitely uh, definitely a fun thing to race with friends. For sure. If you enjoy Pokemon speedruns, go follow Hakuri. He speedruns Scarlet Violet. He did the run yesterday, and also other games like Arceus and uh, what what else? I'm okay at Arceus. Um, <laughs> I also speedrun 3DS games, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> all right, yeah, and I, I love Pokemon randomizers. I do them all the time on my Twitch channel mm -hmm. uh, and my YouTube. Please go check it out. And then obviously tomorrow I'll be back with Mario 64 randomizer. Go. Go donate for that uh, incentive so I can show you a 70 star instead of a 30 star when the incentive opens. It's not open yet. But yes, thank you all for watching. Bye. Thank you so much, Chris, for that amazing Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Shop Sanity run and major, major, major congrats on that PB. Everyone, give this fella a follow. You will not be disappointed. And also go feel free, be sure to check out Halkuri as well. And, uh, it looks like due to how majorly we finished underestimate, <laughs> we are going to figure out what the heck to do next. On court. So on stay court. tuned. On <laughs> I have another seed prepared for a second run. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see about that. For now, though, everybody stay tuned. We'll be back before you know it. You're watching ESA Winter 23.